Chichini you welcome to active tv stay active and see beyond and this is the active show beach with me mc darling our first story the feature controversy between nkz la pass to utah hit maker guru and the rock star kwami eugene continues i admire your hard work and how well you have come I am already in my 13 years in this industry and have been able to give back to back hits. I made sure I had no less than 4 hit songs every year and in 2014 I gave 10 mega hits in one calendar year. I don't know how old you were at that time though. The industry is in difficult times which we need to join hands to change or continue with the mistakes our predecessors made. Remember. Some people started with me, but they could not last long. So I appreciate how far God has brought me. I know that you will not be under Lynx Entertainment forever. But remember not to have any issue with Lynx Entertainment because you leave those that exited couldn't maintain the hype. There are always new laws, so remember nothing lasts forever. Point of correction, I never begged for a collaboration. I didn't ask for collaboration because I wanted a hit song. I have a lot of hit songs and I am proud of that. I wanted you to know I appreciate your craft. That's why I wanted us to work together and nothing more. I wish you well. Thank you. And that's from uh, Guru to Kwame Eugene. And so I have with me here Mohammed, known as BB to do the discussion with. Let me introduce Mohammed. Mohammed, you're welcome. Thank you, bro. Thank you. And you're looking good. What's up? You know, we thank God, even though life is hard, but you know, we just have to look good no matter what. So I'm just happy to be here today. Alright, you're welcome once again. But it looks like of late, day in and day out, there will be controversy between artists. Now it's between you and Kwame in the What do you think? Well, uh, my take is that, you know, in the showbiz, you know, it's show and business at the same time. That's why we got the word showbiz. You know, controversy is part and parcel of showbiz. Uh, sometimes artists do create controversies fakely by themselves, and sometimes it comes in natural. So I think you just have to go deep into the, the, the controversy itself to derive the, the reason of the controversy. So, for what uh, Guru said, Guru said he has been in the industry for over 13 years, and he's still in the industry. And it's not that he he's future Kwame Eugene because uh, of a hit song or anything like that. It's just like once we are all in the industry, we need to be helping each other. And Kwame is is, 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 is it because Kwame is now everywhere, everywhere you go, Kwame Eugene, Kwame Eugene, that's why he's kinda refusing to go over. Uh well uh per the tweets and uh, you know the airways what is going on on social media and all that. Uh, what I observe is that, uh, as rightfully said by uh, Guru, Guru is not looking for the opportunity of Kwame Eugene's uh, a viral going of the on on social media right now to of make course. it. Because he has been there for over a decade. Yeah. So uh, what what the controversy is that uh, Kwame Eugene's production has an issue with Guru. So this is the reason why. According to Kwame Eugene, he will not disrespect his production or his managers by going on uh, with uh, this thing, the collaboration with Guru as, until that beef between uh, Lynx Entertainment and Guru is being solved. So uh, people might say, as people are saying that uh, Kwame Eugene is kind of disrespectful and all that. It's, you know, I don't see that way. I see him to be a lawyer to his uh, music label because uh, you know it wouldn't be appropriate for you for yourself to have a beef with somebody 
and somebody working in your company to have a good terms in order. You know, this, as I said, this is showbiz. You get it. So that's the reason why maybe if if, if uh, Guru wants to make an amends, I think this is opportunity for him to make amends with Links Entertainment and then they pick from that. It happens everywhere. Even when you go to the hip hop world, it happens everywhere. So I don't think we should chop in or dip in more beef uh, on the airwaves. We should just advise and then lay low and advise Guru if he really wants the collaboration. It doesn't matter if you have made hits in the past, but Pam Uji is the real deal now. All right, so quickly before we move on to other traits, do you stand with Kwam Uji? Yeah, uh, in my earlier submissions, I said uh, I, I agree with Kwame Eugene in, in, in some, some extent, some extent that because, you know, it is showbiz. He is a showman in a business which he is, is under a company or under a, label, a record label, which is Lynx Entertainment. You understand? You need to go deep into the contract he signed for you to understand that maybe he doesn't have the capacity to go individually to you you, you understand yeah. so if you really truly want to do business with me go and make amends with my with, with my record label i don't think it's a big the big deal for you understand and you see a guru being the big brother of Fami uji if you read the tweet he said he said when he had those uh la and all that he 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 doesn't even know how old Kwame uji would have been then so it tells you that he he regards himself as the senior brother of Kwame Uji, which all of us attest to that. So to do the right thing, I think just call Kwame Uji's record label, you know, sit down with them, you know, to be a manager just up to let bygones be bygones, and then we go from there. Yeah. yeah. But a fear to us guys also. Let me be A fear is in support of, and a fear is saying that. You are too polite for my liking. Per the tweet, yes. you are too polite for my liking. Please, this is a clear case of when we were we. What class were you? <laughs> Interesting. When we were we, what class were you? Yeah. What an impudence. Uh, you know, this is typically if yes was naked for you. You know, as I said, uh, you know, be so busy is cool about you know trending and all that you know some of the some of some of the celebrities take advantage of the trending news and they just want to dip uh, down their fingers or the, their personality into it so that they will trend with the with, with the trending news at the same time because for me uh, what guru really said in the tweet shows his uh, maturity you understand per age wise and also in the business in the show business he say saying he if he even ended by saying he wish Kwame Eugene his junior brother he wish him well. So I don't think uh if yes was nigga is in to help any issues. He's rather he in to also make popularity of the trending news. So I don't think uh Guru should pay any attention to if yes was nigga. We all know who if yes was nigga is. You understand what I mean? Yeah, she's just only there to put some gas in all of the, uh, the explosion that is already happening. The fire is already burning. You get what I mean. She wants to add more. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> so if Yasha Zega should be just, she, she, she should be ignored. Yeah. All right, so what would you think uh, of uh, Richie's tweet? I mean, Kwame uh, Eugene belongs to Links and Yeah. And right from that, after what you do, Yasha Zega came out with Richie also has come out with something. Yeah. Richie, let me read for my viewers. Sure, sure. Yeah. Richie says, I normally stay quiet in most situations, but this time I only feel it's right I say something. Guru asked Lynx for a feature with either his or family, but the request was denied. He then went from one media house to another, insulting myself and other members of Lynx management. Even to the extent of accusing us of sabotaging his career for the past 10 years. His pan stories, which implied we have some extreme power in the industry to validate someone's career. As usual, my team and I stuck to our usual demeanor and stay mute. When Kwame Eugene was asked in an interview if he would feature Guru, he simply said he couldn't because Guru had insulted 
me consistently and it wouldn't be right to be a teacher with someone who was disrespecting his boss. Let's call a speech a speech. There was nothing disrespectful in what Eugene said. I'm a responsible leader and I would have chastised my artist if he spoke out of them. So my question is, those attacking Eugene for allegedly disrespecting his elder brother Guru, where were they when Guru was attacking myself and my reputation in a disrespectful manner? We talk about unity in the industry and then we go around bringing it at that time. I personally have no problem with Guru. Never have and never will. I like to conserve my energy towards constant success and development than to waste my time on pity public good in a natural hit maker. And it doesn't need Kiki nor Kwame region on his song to make a hit. So there really should be no offense taken in any of this. So can we just drop all this wahala and everyone go back to making hit school on the beat? You know, I like I like I like the the, the, the content of the tweet he, he replied. This shows maturity. As as earlier on, uh, you read uh, Guru's tweet. He said it is true. Uh, you know, Guru does not need either Kwame Eugene or Kidi to make a hit. In fact, he is the hit maker. The whole thing that everybody knows. Hikma, Napas, uh, Toyota. You know, this track with, uh, between he and uh, what was it? Um, um, Bravo, Bravo. Uh, boy and all that. You see, you can, you can, you can even hardly name them. You understand? So, as uh, Rishi said, they don't need each other to make hits. But it would have been good. It would be for the betterment of we, the listeners, we, the fans, for them to come together. Who knew that? Uh, Shatawale and uh, 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 Stoneboy would have even come together and had uh, work together. Well, nobody even knew that. So don't 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 write them off. Kwame Eugene and uh, uh, and and uh, Guru. I'm telling you, don't be surprised if tomorrow you should hear uh, a hit between them together. This is, is part of is part of the showbiz controversy. Sell this artist and and all that. So I don't see the reason why we should just call this or read it as Ethiopia's uh, as nigga you know, Ghanaian should just wipe off Ethiopia's uh, as nigga from this uh, uh, <laughs> yeah from the, this trending uh, uh, issue but issues like this you can't do away with the PR yeah that's how I said she just want to use the, 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 the opportunity of already trending uh, uh, issues you see uh, Flo what was that other uh, artist T Flo also wants to be part of this you understand and all other artists but you know as I said that is it is show beast and you should expect these controversies. The controversies makes artists earn so many views and so many trends on social media. So I would not be surprised if tomorrow we wake up and see a hit song be released by uh, Kwame Eugene and, and, and Guru. Maybe even with Lynx Entertainment being the producer of that. So you shouldn't do write it off, my brother. Uh, as of maybe before you go, what's your final word? Well, uh, with this, let me look into the camera to speak with uh, Kwame Eugene. Uh, what I want to tell Kwame Eugene is that uh, even though he is the real deal now, if I say the real deal, we know Kwame Eugene is making the hits now. But you should know that to be in the game for 14 good years is not a small thing. You understand? We have seen so many artists, they just came and just passed through, and then that's the end of them. We don't hear of them again. But as I said, Guru, he asked a really, really brilliant question. He said, when he was making the hit, he didn't know how old Kwame Eugene was. So, you know, uh, opinion, opinion, you understand? If you, are, if you are a senior, you will definitely be a senior. So, uh, you know, some, the way he, he approached the interview saying uh, a guru wants to, wanted to take advantage of his hit to make hit, you know, for me, that is a disrespect. Guru is a hit maker. He said, he said as, as uh, the tweet of even the Lynx Entertainment boss, you know, he said, uh, a guru does not need Kwame Eugene for Kiri to make a hit. So that that comment, I think Kwame Eugene needs to come again. You understand? It is a total disrespect to a guru and the fans of guru because guru right now has his own record label. He assigned artists like uh, uh, Wuta and I think others. I don't have them off head right now. So it tells you that he has come way back to where he is now and he needs respect.
Do you understand? And also, you know, uh, Guru's area, Guru, Guru is the king there. And he's so, you know, it's funny that Kwame Eugene is also coming from that area. So I think this is the time you have to bow to your king so that, you know, he will crown you as the new king on black. You understand? So I think Kwame Eugene really needs to come again because since they are in the same neighborhood, so who knows? As I said, don't write it off that Kwame Eugene and where a guru are going to take this it's going yeah, to happen, happen. yeah so i think that is that that is that Bibi, let me ask you what's your take on uh, charter house and one dog and the one that is wanting to lift the band on them well as far as i know the case is still in in police station so if they are to go by their way that means they have to go and withdraw the case from the police station and then they finalize it. But the, 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 the real thing is that Ghanaians really need the ban to be lifted up. Because you know, you can't have an award without a Shatawali. You can't have an award without Stoneboy. You get it. So if you recall the past awards before the ban and the current ones that they had with the ban, you, we all know what happened. You understand? The patronage isn't high as, as I said, Ghana showbiz cannot be done without Stoneboy. In Shatawali. So we really need the ban to be lifted up. And with that, uh, Shata also responded that if they really want to lift the ban or if they have lifted the ban, they should have consulted them, he, Shata, and then two more before like, they will lift the ban. It's true because, you see, as I told you, if you, after what you just said, if you, if you go by word by word, you see, Shatawali is showing who he is, he's showing the class he has. You get it because a normal a normal artist will be will be in a certain corner jubilating that a band is going to be lifted on he or her. But you know, we are talking about Shatawale and Tomboy. So Shatawale wants to be noticed or notified before a band will be lifted on him. So it tells you the class in which Shatawale and Tomboy are finding themselves. And they really deserve whatever they say. You get what I mean? As, but as I said, finally, we, we, we the fans need the band to be lifted. So that, that, that is my take on it. The band really needs to be shattered. House has to come again. And uh, you know, this do happen everywhere. But the way forward is what we're looking for. So we are just in support of what? Sure, sure. I, I know everybody watching me right now. We consulted before. No, no, for, for that, as I said, I'm telling you. What I'm saying is, you see, that is what. Shata is showing who it is. You see, Shata is not a name, but it's a brand. You got, you understand it. Shata is a brand on its own, just like a uh, 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 beam nation. You understand? They are not just like any other artist you find on the street on your TV television. You get what I mean? So that is why Shata Wale is saying, as he or as the, the the leader of Shata movement, they need to be notified before a, lift will be, a band will be lifted on you. I don't think any, any other artist will, will brag like this when a, lift, a, a band is going to be lifted on you. You want to be notified before the, the band okay, okay. Okay. It's between Chatterhouse, yeah. Stoneboy yeah. and Chatterwally. And now the news out is that Chatterhouse are done to lift the band or the band is lifted. And Shatter is saying once it's between T Shatter, Stoneboy and Chatterhouse. If Chatterhouse wants to lift the band or have lifted the band, they should have consulted T Shatter and Stoneboy before lifting the band. Because it's between the three of them. Yes. Exactly my point when I emphasize that Chatterwale is not just an any any artist or any celebrity, yeah. you understand? Shatawale does not regard himself as a mere shat. shat as I said, the Shata movement is a brand on its own. You understand? So Shata sees himself that the, as the, the, the leader of Shata movement, he shouldn't be relaxing home whilst he hears the breaking news or, 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 or a news that the band that you understand. Because mind you, this case took them to court. You understand? So at least he beg to differ or agree with uh, uh, Shata on on. on instance that it's true he should be notified because shatter movement is a big brand at least he doesn't take anything for a phone call to call shatter or anybody in a, 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 in his agency or a, uh, his brand that look i'm this even is, sure Ch uh, charter house wrote an official letter when they wanted to uh, 
ban Shaka and Shingo. Yes, like, definitely. You, you, you see exactly my point. So going forward, if if that if if it is found to be that actually, then I think uh, the management of Shatter House need to come again because Shatter movement or Shatter Wale and Beam are not just a mere artist. You see them on the streets. So that you can just come on social media on on air and just release your statement and all that. You see, they are they are a bod a body on on their own. If I say a body, I'm referring to them. You know, they, they are a brand on their own. So you get it. So you don't just release a press statement or go to on air on any interview and just see your mind that this is the, the, what is happening and all that. So going forward, I think we should just do the right thing. We should write them officially, but invite them, the two of them, and you know, deliberate with them. This is what we plan to do and all that. Then. I think, but the good thing is, I will, I will still emphasize again, we the fans are really happy for the band to be lifted. Because I can't go to uh, Ghana Music show, uh, uh, Awards without seeing Shatawale or, or you, 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 get, you get what I mean, you understand? Alright, so this is how we end the show for today. It has been Active Show Beach right here on Active TV with me, MC Darling. You can follow me on Twitter at Clement 4 and also on Instagram at MC Darling. One. And also on Twitter at MC Darling One. Let me remind you before I leave you right about now. COVID is real. So stay safe because I need you alive. Active TV. I say the enemy Jenabu, Jenabu, mm 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 mm